Um, hi guys. So we're just gonna be talking about issues that I've had with my car. Um, ever since I got it, it's been like eight or nine months of ownership now. So yeah. Um, one of the first issues that I got on the car is my right side charge pipe, um, the driver's side charge pipe from the intercooler um, had a hole in it, a hole, it's like a rat was living in there or something um, and it seemed to have been patched up from when I initially got the car, didn't check, um, so the patch that was on that pipe, blue obviously, and then my car started going into limp mode. Um, limp mode is like a safe mode so when there's something wrong with the car it will take the car into limp mode and then my power was basically gone um, I was driving this car like it's a quid or something couldn't um, yeah couldn't floor it you know couldn't feel anything it was like I had no table and it was only boosting up until one bar with the table gauge only up until one bar and then yeah, took it to a few people, took it to Ashley Learn to have a diagnosis. He was able to check and I don't know what he did, but I was able to get me like a quarter of the car's boost. But the issue was still not fixed. I think he just took it out of limp mode and then I was able to enjoy my car for a bit, which was nice. Um, and then I went around a few people shopping for codes. But then I remembered that I have a warranty from when I bought the car and uh, I think there was, this was around three months from ownership with the car or something, can't remember. Um, yeah, so I took it back to the dealership, told them that there's, a, there's this issue, sent them pictures of the hole on my charge pipe and if I remember correctly, it spent like a week with them and they were able to order the part from Ford and replace the charge pipe and yeah it was fine from there was able to drive the car like it's a beast there's a car far in front of me i want to race it but there's traffic bummer bummer so yeah i was able to drive the car um and i think it had more power than when i bought it because now there was no hole on my charge pipe that was patched it was full oem nice stuff um, cool but the joy didn't last me for too long as a few months after that issue um, I started to have an oil leak and it was becoming more and more intense like I would leave the mall and there would be like a bloodbath of oil or like an oil bath and I would park the car like where I parked my car in the garage yo it was like an oil nest my oil was just dripping um, and then obviously they don't know what could be the issue the car would still drive fine if you pour up oil as I was also advised that if I'm gonna drive the car I can do it but I just need to have oil in it and make sure that I'm always filling up so it does not run out of oil and then I don't know I blow my engine or something so yeah took the car back to the dealership again they told me that it's my crank seal so they say like crank seals do go out after a certain time um on the car so i guess it was my time and the car was over yeah 100 kilometers was around 116 somewhere there um yeah they replaced my crank seal and that's all that was done to it don't know how much it costed to do the job didn't ask for an invoice which is a bit dumb um, yeah and then yeah the car came back um, no more oil leaks it was done which was epic um, can't remember how long it took um, but I had a courtesy car an NP200 at the time which is a shit car to drive as a courtesy car from a Focus ST to a Nissan NP200 like respect respect just respect 
respect me, please. Um, cool. That was the second issue. And then... The third one... Yeah, this one was a bit mysterious because... Um, I was driving my car nicely. Um, I went to a friend, Dumelo, in Tembisa. Um, we went to a garage to get our, you know, a vape. To get these um, flavors at the garage or these pods. We get there, park the car at the garage um, parking lot, obviously. Get out of the car, go into the garage, come back again to the car. And then I try to start the car, the car starts, it's fine. And then I try to move the car, but I can't for some reason. And I start to hear like very weird noises from the from, from the bonnet. Um, and then it's in gear one. I try to balance the clutch. It's not moving. There's basically no power. The noises are keep getting worse. And then I stop. Uh, as I stop, um, my bonnet starts to smoke and then it was later uh, as we opened the bonnet um, the smoke was a steam from my coolant burning um, on top of my engine like the engine is hot and then the coolant pipe got burst and then it's burning on the engine how did the coolant pipe burst my engine basically fell from the right side and by a fell my engine mounts broke um, the right side engine mount and i'm guessing the rear motor mount also broke um how does it happen i don't know the car was parked it's really weird and that was like a big um big blunder for me like emotionally having a car um engine mount break that's weird as it was parked and then um, yeah, I had to get the car towed from Tembi side, was taken to um, near my neighborhood. And then from my neighborhood, um, it was taken to the dealership's um, service center because they, yeah, they have like a service center and I have a warranty with them. So it makes, not with them, but with um, a service provider of them. I don't know, it's like they have some kind of relationship, but yeah, it only made sense to take, to take the car to, to tow the car to the dealership service center and then yeah they were helpful in taking the car in and getting it towed for free from my neighborhood to pretoria which is like uh i don't know 40 kilometers somewhere there like roughly 40 30 minutes um yeah the car went in there and then kept being in the loop with them um asked like what's the issue uh, I did not know that it was my engine mount. Um, I could see that a part broke, but not much of a car person, so was not able to spot what's going on. And then, yeah, I was told it's the engine mounts. Um, they broke or cracked. And then I'm not sure about the rear motor one. I'm not sure about that one. But I know for sure that my right side is cracked. I will show pictures shortly. And then, yeah, spent like 25 days without the car. That's like a whole month um the bank took the installment but i was not enjoying my car i had no courtesy car which sucked so i was basically indoors for like 25 days when i wanted to move i, I would use uber groceries i would have to use um, an online shopping app uh, like 6060 so it sucked um being immobile and messing my car daily open the garage there's no car I can't do anything i can't go anywhere um so but yeah after 25 days or within the 25 days was able to see the invoice so the overall repair from just a mount breaking and you can get a mount for like 2k but the overall repair for from that incident happening was around 11k so it was the engine mounts it was the coolant pipes um and every little um part that got affected by my engine basically going whoosh and yeah taking a fall <laughs> so yeah ever since the car came back um when the car came back i uh, had an issue where on the first day that i collected the car driving home engine light comes on I'm like okay 
that's weird and as i was driving back home i could feel that the car did not have power like i know my car from when i got the first from the first issue from when it got it got fixed that my car like it pulls like it throws into the seat and then just want to go but then i thought maybe okay i'm feeling anxious it's been 25 days since i last drove maybe i'm just trying to get um the hang of things but then yeah when the engine light came on uh, i was able to get home put on my obd and then it read that under boost under boost um, basically means the car is not receiving as much boost as it should and i uh, started to wonder what could be wrong when the engine fell did it break or did it touch my charge pipes again um yeah but i uh, took it to a buddy that's in the st community uh he's the mechanic uh louis and yeah it was checked to be my uh dumb valve turned out to be my dumb valve um yeah like a, a very small thing it's not even as big as the palm of my hand but that thing caused me a very unpleasant experience in my car where i could not feel the boost um yeah after the dumb valve got replaced it was just the head of it um got replaced for very cheap and then i could feel my boost again it's, the car was fine like it was way 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 better like my my tires were like crying for traction on the road because you know, it was just going um and that has been nice ever since then have had no issues apart from where i now need to replace a map sensor because that seems to have to be giving me some issues so yeah th those are basically the issues that i faced with my 2013 mk3 focus st3 you know that are recara seats you know what i'm saying but uh yeah otherwise it's been a very pleasant experience with the car you know it drives nicely it handles nicely on the road um yeah it's just seriously costly to maintain so if you have or want to have this car you need to be right with your pockets or please get a warranty even though it's like third party so yeah that's just me i'm gonna be doing a few videos with the car um anything that i've experienced with the car all the future things that i want to do to it um things that have been done to it um yeah we'll be posting that content here stay tuned and i hope you get to enjoy it subscribe like whatever you want to do Bye 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 bye. Jeez, I don't know what to do with myself.